Hey guys, we are the Stone Wolf Band. We are uh, Tiago, I'm uh, Stone Wolf, Inej on the drums, Babyface Dylan, and Ojan B. Livers. Uh, you're watching the AU Review at Music Matters Singapore. Is it your first time here? Um, for a few of us it is, but I, I actually used to live here about 10 years ago, so I, uh, I lived here for about 18 years. Wow. But it's the first time back for, for a while. What's for it me. like returning after, you know? After it's so long. it's good uh, that shock of when you leave the airport that hit, the wall of heat that hits you. Uh, I, I didn't miss that, but uh, <laughs> the rest, uh, the the center of the city, the, it's changed a lot. There's a whole new Marina Bay Sands area, but apart from that, everyone's still as friendly as they were before. I don't know if they want to speak about their first time in Singapore. How was how was your first time in Singapore? Yeah, it's pretty sick. It's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, we we got straight in and went to the first gig, so it was pretty like rock and roll but it's um no it's wicked like just coming in just flying over seeing it all and you're like man it's, it's, it's the first cool. time you left, uh, yeah it's the first time europe. out of europe wow well welcome <laughs> cheers everyone's been here before you gonna share any thoughts on the matter always happy to be here there we go Mr. well you've had a show last night tell us a little bit about how it went yeah, it was. It went really well. We were really well received. We got a good, got some good feedback. It was at the Crazy Elephant down in Clark Key, and uh, people seemed to enjoy it. They're asking for CDs and socializing with them after. And then, um, actually, after us, there was a Aussie artist, Ash Ash Grunwald, after us. Really cool guy. We spoke with him for a bit, and um, yeah, the gig went well. How did the gig go, Tiang? Yeah, I think it went great. The crowd just loved it, and we were all having so much fun. It was like wicked, wicked fun. We could <laughs> well, let's talk about your music, and I understand that there's a debut album. Now, has that yep. already been released, or it's about to be released? No, it's about to be released. It hasn't been released. We're just finalizing the artwork, and then it's, it's done. So it's, there was a single release at the end of last year? Yes, uh, we released Got a Bounce, um, and before that we, did, uh, we released a, a single before that, my ukulele song. It was supposed to be released just as a, a single, but there was a request for people for it to be uh, put in the album. So we decided, oh, we'll just stick it in the album as well. Give the people what they want. So, um, and then um, the album should be out next month. So based on those two songs, you know what, I mean, is that a taste of the album? Is that is a pretty good indication? What we did today in there, or, um, or the, the two single songs? I'm talking about the two oh, singles. Oh, no, no, yeah. It's I a didn't good, get to see you today. Oh, no, okay, okay. No, it's a good, uh, it's a good uh, sum of what we do. The, the God of Bounce is more of like a Western sort of feel. It's like a groove. And uh, ukulele has a more sort of that pop reggae. But uh, we, we try and mix it up a bit. we got rock, folk, blues, uh, uh, essence of jazz. But uh, it's a good mix. A little bit of everything going yeah. on. Yeah. What, what kind of brought that about? What brought that about such an amalgamation of... Well, genres. like I said, we got um, different backgrounds. So uh, Ocean B comes more of like a jazz background, world music sort of thing. Dylan is like sort of the indie English sort of vibe. Uh, Inej comes from like a sort of rock, uh, old school rock. So what is it? Guns N' Roses? I don't want to say. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately Guns N' Roses. No, but, and then uh, Tiago also like Brazil, Brazil sort of background. So we uh, try to mix it all together when we jam. Fair enough. And how did you all come together in um, the first instance? Well, it started, I was playing just a solo and then a solo artist. And then I just wanted more sound, more like volume, more power. And then I started searching for musicians. And then I actually met uh, Ojun first um, through just mutual friends. And then we started jamming and then uh, we needed a, um, a drummer. Obviously, we met Inej. She, I heard through the grapevine there was a, a cool chick drummer in Stubal. Uh, near Lisbon, so I had to go watch. I went and watched her play a gig, and uh, it was really cool. And Tiago as well. Um, I heard through mates, I saw him at like a champagne bar in Lisbon. And then we just all got together, and um, uh, Dylan showed up last uh, through, through Ogden B. And uh, yeah, we just jammed it all, clicked, and it's been going well. So, for the, for the record, is, is every song on the, on the album something that you did collaboratively or are there songs that you wrote and then brought it's to the most, band? How yeah, does that work? Mostly songs, uh, mostly songs that I wrote and uh, recorded because a lot, a lot of the album, um, uh, in part, is uh, a couple of the tracks actually, is uh, while I was still searching for musicians. So I was recording with me and the producer in the studio doing a couple of the tracks. And then uh, as we were getting musicians, they came in and did their parts. Or there, or there would be a, a bit where I would do the bass line, and then when we found the bass player, we took away my bass line, put his bass line in sort of thing. So yeah, it was sort of like a jigsaw puzzle that came <laughs> together. But yeah, sounds good. 
So what's next for you? You, you go back home and you finish the record and, and get it out? Uh, yeah, we have. Uh, we already booked a festival in the Algarve, uh, Medfest in the Algarve. So we go back. We have a gig literally, I think, two days after we get back <laughs> in the center of uh, Lisbon in Caix Sudre. Yeah, we do. Champagne in here, the Caix. We have a gig there, and then uh, we play the festival. I think June. June uh, in the Argov and then we're just gonna just tour uh, promote the album as much as possible a little before we came to Singapore we did a, a little mini tour of the Argov as well so we want to do the Olentej the middle zone and maybe Porto up north and just tour play as much as possible fantastic yeah. and maybe even get down to Australia one day that would that would actually be amazing we wanted to, the, the perfect situation would be because we come so far out we would, we would be cool to do Singapore then maybe Australia Indonesia that sort of vibe it would be awesome that's a goal, definitely a goal. Next, next time? Next time, yeah. Well, we're looking forward to hearing the record. When it does come out, how can we get our hands on it? In, uh, well, in um, we, it's going to be up on iTunes, obviously. We got our Facebook. Uh, we got, uh, it's going to be up on the FNAC stores in, uh, through Portugal, Amazon. It's going to be on so, uh, all, the, um, all the online marketplaces you can get. It'll be up there.